Hey, how's it going? Kenny here and welcome back to the Austrian Adventure. And up in today's episode, we have the final two games of the Champions League group campaign. At home to Juventus and away to Bayer Leverkusen. And up first, we've got Juventus at home. And if we win this game and Man City beat Bayer Leverkusen at home, we will qualify for the first knockout round, which would be exceptional. But of course, there's still a long way to go yet. We still need to beat Juventus. Hopefully, Man City, well, I'm sure they can beat Barley Leverkusen at home. I'm sure they will beat Barley Leverkusen at home. So if we do win this game, which I'm sure we're capable of doing, we're unbeaten. Well, not we're not unbeaten, actually, sorry, because we, we lost 5-1 away to Man City. But uh, in the first three games, we're unbeaten in the Champions League. And we also drew away to Juventus 1-1. So definitely got a chance to beat them at home here. If we don't beat them at home, then... It could be very tricky to qualify, to be honest. That means we'd have to probably draw away to Bayer Leverkusen as well to have any chance of qualifying. But still, it's possible if we draw the game. So, hopefully, we can do it anyway. In terms of the league table here, as you see, we are sitting in second place with five points. Uh, Bayer Leverkusen and Juventus, greatest results ever could happen for us is that Juventus beat Bayer Leverkusen at home and Bayer Leverkusen beat Juventus at home. So, with them beating each other... We remain one point clear of them in uh, in second place there. That's what I mean. If we win this game and Man City beat Bayer Leverkusen, we'll be four points clear of both of them. We've only one game to go, so we will qualify for the first knockaround for the first time. But we need to beat Juventus first of all. Anyway, in terms of the recent results, since the last episode has been going quite well, it has to be said, though, um, we've had some pretty easy games. We played Hartberg at home in the next game after beating Man City 1-0. Won this game 3-1. A little bit disappointing. Said a pleasant off after three minutes. I also had a pleasant off after three minutes. I decided, you know what? We, uh... We really did damage our goal difference in the last league game against Salzburg. So I went attacking after that point, trying to get some uh, some of that goal difference back. But unfortunately, we only won the game 3-1, which was really disappointing. Uh, we freed it up in the game, and then Augusto with a bizarre own goal in the last minute. But albeit, we did win the game, but a little bit disappointing there. After that, he played ASK BSC, Bruck, a team I've never heard of, in the Austrian FA Cup third round. Beat them 5-0 very, very comfortably, it has to be said. Uh, two goals in the first, uh, well, two goals in the first 16 minutes there in space of two minutes. It was a long time for the next goal went in, but then a little bit of a rout. Uh, Heinrich made it 3-0, Pin made it 4-0, and Heinrich got his hat-trick made it 5-0. So that was a nice win there. And that set up another away tie in the FA Cup quarterfinal. This time to a first division team, which is FC Wacker Innsbruck. Uh, but still, we had to play a Premier Division this time in this season in the FA Cup. So we given a very, very favourable draws in the FA Cup so far this season. Uh, after that game, we played Am Amstetten away. Beat them 3-0 very comfortably. Had no uh, set players enough in this game as well. So we were rather fortunate with the games. We had f all these teams had a player sent off in the games. I still think we would have won the games very comfortably without the sending offs. But still, it definitely helped. After that, though, we played Man City away. Of course, we beat Man City 1-0 at home. In the last episode there, but I, I think it was very unlikely for us to do the same thing away from home, and we got punished 5 1 away. Uh, I don't think we deserved to lose the game 5 1, though. Uh, they deserved the win, but they weren't that much better than us, to be honest, to win game 5 1. They deserved the win, but 5 1 certainly does flatter them, but they have got some exceptional players. And also, uh, of course, they've got Erling Haaland in his FN22. They've also got Mbappe as well. So Mbappe and Haaland are in the same team. What a scary, scary thought that is. Well, it, it could happen in real life at some point in the future. This Real Madrid rumours are all to talk about. Uh, Mbappe and Haaland may uh, may join each other at some point. But yeah, Man City have got Mbappe and Haaland on the pitch together, which is yeah very, very scary sight. Uh, they made it they won 5-1. They went 3-0 up. Louis Barry got a goal back for us. But then Mbappe come off the bench uh, to score two goals later on, which is... You never like to see that, do you? Mbappe come off the bench... I don't think you can see anything worse than that, to be honest. But anyway, lost 5-1. It's expected, though, but it definitely does flatter them. Uh, after that, though, we bounced back with a 5-0 win at home to Wolfsburg. Very comfortably as, again. And then we beat SV Reed 3-0 away from home as well. In another comfortable win there. Against Wolfsburg, actually played twice this season already. Beat them 7-0 away and 5-0 at home. So that's quite decent. But yeah, it's gone really well since the last episode. Uh, but as I said, not really too many tests. And uh, the game we were supposed to lose in, we lost comfortably. So nothing uh, too bizarre to talk of right now. But in this episode today, they've got Juventus at home first. They've got to play two games off camera at home to Rapid Vienna and away to Lafnitz. They've got Bayer Leverkusen away in the final group game. But as I said, if we win this first game here, we will qualify for the first knockout round. Anyway, a bit of transfer news to talk of. You're probably thinking, why am I signing the players for the future? Uh, that is because... Uh, once this season's over, we're going to go 10 years into the future and see uh, what sort of legacy left with Austria Vienna. So I'm trying to leave them in the best sort of situation ever um, for when I leave. And uh, I signed a little potential player for them, Fabian Mignini from Boca Juniors. He joined, I can't remember how much it was actually now. 
Uh, five and a half million, that's it. We signed him for five and a half million. Uh, it looks like a good good little striker. He needs to uh, develop a little bit physically, but he's only 18, so I'm sure he will. And he's on loan to Boca Juniors for the uh, rest of the season as well. So we're never going to see him, but I've signed him for Osviena's future, and uh, he may be the number one striker going down the line. So he's I signed a player there. We've got so much money now with all the uh, the players I've sold. That it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really make a difference to us. So why not sign some players for the future? Uh, for a 10 years in the future video I'm going to do at the end of the series here. So Minini will be joining, but we will never see him play football, uh, which doesn't make too much sense. Anyway, let's get to this first game at home to Juventus. As I said, when this game will qualify for the first knock around, can we do it? This is the team for today's game. Got Fructon in goal, Riley right back, El Shibi left back, Augusto and Milik centre back. So we've got Pind, Brinkman and Tanovic midfield. Evalasio on the right, Barry on the left, and Marshall up front. So Milik has started today's game. Uh, I did say he was absolutely useless in the last episode, and uh, he has been useless, but the last three games, he's put in some impressive performances. Okay, he hasn't played in the hardest games ever, but still, he's been quite impressive. Uh, he wouldn't be playing, though, because Han Lettner's been really good this season again, but he's very tired from the last game, so... I decided that Millet can be can be trusted in this game, um, but we'll see what performance he puts in. I'm still a little bit, little bit nervous about him. Other than that, there's not really too much news to talk about the players. Oh yeah, one thing, well two things actually. He's got two t serious injuries, the two centre midfielders, and that is Demaku, who's out for three to six weeks with sprained knee ligaments. But Patrick Grill was even worse. He's out between two to three months with a hip injury, so that's disappointing. Luckily for us, they've got a lot of depth for centre midfield this season, so shouldn't be a complete disaster. But Still, it is not good, nonetheless. Anyway, Juventus at home. Can we win this game and qualify for the first knockaround for the first ever time? Well, let's find out. Well, we beat Man City at home in the last episode there. So, surely we've got some, some belief to beat Juventus at home. We don't beat Juventus at home. It's going to be really disappointing. Because this might be our last of a chance to uh, qualify for the first knockout round. Because uh, by Leverkusen away, is going to be a very, very tricky game. We did do really well away to Juventus in the uh, last championship group game against them. We drew 1-1. And uh, we played quite well in that game. Quite an even game, so... Let's hope for a similar thing here. But anyway, 80 minutes in. Massive, massive chance to go back in there for them. First shot in the game as well. This first 25 minutes here have been absolutely atrocious from both teams. But let's be honest, that was a massive chance for them. And they should be 1-0 up. But we haven't started this game at the races, that is for sure. Not at all. Back on the highlight again. Here's Kulisevsky to Dybala. The two players are both neither at, top, uh, neither at Juventus anymore have, have uh, combined there for the goal. And uh, we're 1-0 down here. Not that we can complain too much because this first 30 minutes for us has been absolutely atrocious. Atrocious. What a terrible start to the match. Not a single shot in the game so far for us. Well, we have now... What, what an awful start to the game. None of the players have woken up whatsoever. Well... Be so disappointed we don't win this game. Well, you know what? I'd be even more disappointed if we would lose the game. Because if we draw the game, at least we know we've got some sort of chance of drawing away to Leverkusen and qualifying still. But if we lose the game, then we need to beat Leverkusen. Realistically. Anyway, here's El Shiwi to Barry. First time we see anything for us in the game. Here's Tanovic to Barry. Got a score. He has scored. Get in. Get in. A terrible first half from us so far. We haven't seen anything in the game. But when we finally do, we get back in the game just for half-time as well. It could be crucial in terms of the match. So that's nice. Everlasting with a goal there. He cannot miss. If he did miss, I think I would have given up. Hope, to be honest, completely. But yeah, nice uh, nice time to score a goal, that. Terrible first half. But as I said, at least we're back into the game here. That's all we can ask for. As I said, we've got to at least draw the game. At least draw the game. Let's not lose it. But still, we, uh, we end the first half. Arguably the better team, to be honest. Juventus had two shots in the game. That's the two shots we've seen. So hopefully the second half can be better. We've got a highlight straight from kickoff here, which I never like to see. I have to be honest, I never like to see, especially when the other team has the ball. Here's De Litt. Scored in the last game against us. To McKenney. Could have got the ball back. Where is the pressing? What is happening there? They'll just walk towards him. Nice covering from Riley there. Oh my god, not a nice goal kick from Fructal though. Nice tackle from El Shiwi. Get the ball back for a very, very short period of time before we panic and boot up the pitch. And they got it back again. Here's Rodrigo. I think it's Bentancur again. Another player who's not at Juventus anymore. So a lot of players in the summer, didn't they? They really are a team in turmoil, Juventus in real life. But Riley has given away a penalty, like he did in the last episode, because he's an absolute donut. Well done, Riley. Good job, pal. He gave away a penalty in the last game against Salzburg. 
the fifth goal, the, most, the least important goal of the game. But what is he doing? Oh, my word. <laughs> European football hates us. I always say it. It genuinely does. It genuinely hates us. Oh, well, here's Dybala of Roma these days. Sends Fructal the wrong way. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, you keep Man City at home. Surely you've got to have some sort of chance to beat Juventus at home. But some pathetic uh, pathetic errors in this game for us. I've had like three shots in the game. And they've, every single one has been a massive chance for them. So, it's just shocking, isn't it? Absolutely shocking. You know what? Let's make a couple of changes here. Um, let's bring Marshall off. Bring Beck on. And we also take Barry off and bring on Ristinic as well. 30 minutes to go. Obviously, there's still time to get back into the game, but it's been an absolutely abysmal game. Abysmal game. 3-1, I think it's game over. It's game over. Wow, nice. Massive chance we have here. Massive, massive chance we have, and we've absolutely blown it. Absolutely blown it. Well, I think it's time to start going attacking here. Got nothing to lose now. Nothing at all to lose. Um, one more change. Well, I've made no substitutions, but I've got more attack in here. I can't believe how poor we'd be in this game. 3-1. Losing 3-1 at home to Juventus. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Massive chance for us, but blown it as we always do. Love it. Anyway, here's Milik, who um, has had a poor game today, which is no surprise, really, because he's a poor footballer. Anyway, we can't put it down to him anyway. Anyway, here's Brinkman. If we get his goal back immediately after that, I guess there's some sort of some sort of hope, I guess. There is some sort of hope. Peter Pinn gets us a little bit back into the game. But still, 25 minutes to go. We need to score two more goals. We need to score one more goal at least. But even then, it's going to look very unlikely for us to draw away to Leverkusen. And we have played here today, isn't it? So, but Still, that goal immediately after gives me some sort of little hope there. But still, we need to score at least one more. And they make it 4-2 then. Again, it could be curtains, couldn't it? Augusto clears it, but only as far as no man's land. The ball is going to get there. He passes it back to uh, Mike Minan. And then passes to Molina. Now here's Bentancur, I believe. Jorginho. Spot the run, boys. Got to deal with that. God. When Fructal gets the ball, we get a little bit nervous. Anyway, he's pinned. Passing on the back, from the back here quite nicely. Tanovic is playing on the right now as a winger. He does well, but I don't know what he's doing there. I don't know what sort of ball that's going to be, Tanovic, to be honest with you. He's better to win the, he does win the ball back. It's Tanovic. That's a better ball. Ristonic. Beck, go score. Oh, no. How's he missed? 15 minutes to go to get something out of the game. Come on. Long for opportunity. Milik to take it. Comes back to him. It's Evalasio. Plays an advanced playmaker now on attack. To Brinkman. Back to El Shiri for some bizarre reason. But anyway, Milik has got the ball again. Get in the box. It's Brinkman. To Evalasio. Out to Riley. Come on. Pinned. Riley. Pinned. Riley crosses it in. Ristonich. Beck got a score. Oh my word. What a miss. Oh my word. You have to be joking. What a miss from Beck. Oh my word. That is absolutely horrendous. Well, a couple minutes to go. And it looks like it's curtains for us. Wow. Wow. A couple of those chances there. How on earth do we miss a couple of those chances there? <sighs> they had three shots on target in the match, and they scored all three. I'm not saying we did much better, but they didn't deserve the win, did they? Oh well, it's not over, but it seems very unlikely now. Uh, just needed, a, just needed another goal, and we still had a good chance, you know. Because if we, Man City, well, they haven't played by Leverkusen yet, so. I guess we'll see what happens there now. Yeah, let's see what happens in Man City Bayer Leverkusen game. Well, they actually drew 2-2. So what does that mean now? We're above Bayer Leverkusen on 
goal scored, I believe. Yeah, but the, the thing is now, well, Man City have got Juventus in the final game. Well, Man City at home or away to uh, Man City away to Juventus as well. So, mm. uh, if Juventus draw against Man City, then there is nothing we can do because if Juventus draw against Man City, we get eight points. If we beat by Leverkusen, we'll be at eight points as well. Juventus will finish above us on results between teams. But if we beat by Leverkusen and um, Juventus lose to Man City. Then we will qualify in second place still. We've got to be in Bayern Leverkusen away from home. So that's definitely no easy task. But I think we've got it in us to do it. We are capable of doing it. But do bear in mind that we have not won a game away from home in the Champions League yet in the series. Past the qualifying stages at least. So yeah, it seems highly unlikely. But you know what? If we can draw away to Bayern Leverkusen, it's not what we wanted. But we can still finish in third place and qualify for the Europa League at least. But even that, drawing away to Bayer Leverkusen is still a tough ask. But saying that, we did draw away to Juventus. So we've certainly got a chance of doing something away to Bayer Leverkusen. So uh, it's not it's not over yet. But let's be honest, that losing a home to Juventus there probably did end our chances of, uh, of qualifying for the first knockout round. As I said, Juventus only need a point now. Uh, home to Man City sounds a lot easier than away to Man City. So they've certainly got a big chance of qualifying uh, now for them. Um, but it's still not over. I said, even if it's third place or second place, we're still outside to fight for. And uh, Bayer Leverkusen only won one game so far in the Champions League group campaign as well. So we've definitely got a chance against them, that is for sure. Anyway, I'm going to play these two games off camera. A home to Rapid Vienna and a way to SV Lafnit. And I'll bring you back for Bayer Leverkusen away from home, where hopefully we can get at least a point and stay in European football for the final season here. Okay, here we are. It's time for the final Champions League group game. Away to Bayer Leverkusen. Wasn't quite the result we wanted there at home to Juventus, but... It's still in our hands in terms of uh, qualifying for Europa League uh, in third place, of course, because if we draw away to Bayer Leverkusen, that is guaranteed because of the goals scored between the two clubs here. But in terms of qualifying for the first knockout round, that is in Juventus' hands. If Juventus can draw at home to Man City, there is nothing we can do because even if we win the game, they'll finish in second place uh, due to results between teams. So after that disappointing result at home to Juventus there... Um, I'll take a draw here away to Bayer Leverkusen just to finish in third place. I'd like to keep European football going for the season. Of course, it was going to be very hard anyway because of the group. But to see our position after three games to maybe probably finishing down in bottom place is uh, it's rather disappointing, let's be honest. Anyway, though, we did manage to win the two games. I played off camera there. Not easily, though. Home to Rapid Vienna, we were dominating the game. Absolutely smashing them. But they took the lead just for half time, they were 1-0. Uh, I threw the water bottle at the players, and uh, it really got a reaction out of them. It was a much better second half. Marshall, a letting the penalty, and pinned. Made us win that game 3-1 very nicely. And before the episode here, get away to Lafnitz. The rest of the lot of players for this Leverkusen game. But we absolutely destroyed them. We won 5-1, but it could have been 10, to be honest. We absolutely destroyed them. Shoot off with a goal. Vargas with a brace, and Barry Augusta with a goal as well. They got a late consolation goal through Huskovic, who's a former player of ours, actually. Didn't actually uh, notice that at the time, but yeah, former player of ours, good for him, I guess. But yeah, won the game 5 1 very comfortably. And also, since we lost away to Salzburg 5 0, we've actually won all of our league games, and they've drawn two and lost one. So now we've got a healthy eight point lead at the top, despite losing to Salzburg 5 0. That's why I said in the last episode, despite losing that game, I still fancy us uh, for the title very much, and um, yeah, we're. We've got, we've got a goal difference as well. In the last episode, our goal difference actually went worse than Salzburg's after losing to a 5-0. But now we've got a plus 16 better goal difference than again after smashing a few teams. So back to our best in the league. But this episode is all about the Champions League. Can we just draw at least away to Leverkusen and get that third place? Uh, that'll be very nice. Hopefully we can. We shall see. In terms of the team sheet, uh, we've got Fruchtel in goal, Riley right back, El Shiri left back, Augusto and Lettner centre backs. Then we've got Pind, Brinkman and Vargas in midfield. Evelasio on the right, Barrio on the left, and Marshall up front. So Vargas starts today in front of Tanovic, because Tanovic has been poor recently. As you see their last five games, 6.66, hasn't done much. And also Vargas, who scored two goals there against Lafnitz, did really well. So he gets a start today ahead of Tanovic. But Leverkusen away from home. Can we at least draw the game and keep European football going? Well, let's find out. Okay, here we go. Away to, away to buy Leverkusen. One minute in, we've really got a long throwing ch chance here. Riley with a pathetic throw in. And it's gone straight to our former player, Babic. And then gives the ball away to Brinkman. And we're still on the attack here. That was bizarre. Very bizarre. Anyway, it's El Shiwi. Of course, Leverkusen nicked uh, a couple of players of ours. Babic and Oliveira. But anyway. What a start. What a start to the match. Evelasio puts us 1-0 up after just two minutes. Evelasio, been a bit hit and miss this season. Um, 
I think it's mainly the fact that we're playing on the right wing, and it's not his natural position. He's naturally an attacking midfielder, but saying that when he turns up, he turns up. He's what a player he is. Uh, but he does go quiet in games. Um, but anyway, he's not been quiet in this game. Just two minutes in, we've won it up already in this game. So what a flying start to the match here. Got to keep an eye on the Juventus and Man City scoreline. Uh, obviously, we can't get carried away. A long way to go yet. And it's only 1 0, of course. So, But what a start to the match. They've got a corner here, though. Verts to take it. It's cleared by Lettner. Only back, as, uh, back to uh, Verts, sorry. He loses out to Brinkman. Then Brinkman doesn't back up his great tackle there. Oh my word. What a point blank save from Fructal that is. What a miss from Diaby, but what a save from Fructal. Well, at the moment, things are looking good for us. Juventus and Man City are still 0 0 currently. Of course, even if we win the game, we still need Juventus to lose because of the results between teams. That's what I mean when I said that. Just needed a draw at home to Juventus. Just a draw and it has been looking so much more rosy for us. But this first half is racing by here. And Juvent uh, Leverkusen, sorry, yet to turn up in the match. Here's Louis Barry. On another attack for us here. Pass it to El Shiwi. Pass it back to Augusto. He's got a yellow card. To Brinkman. Hold on, Barry. Can't go two up, surely not. Evelacio again. Over the bar. Well, first half though. Very happy with this. Very happy with this. Juventus and Man City is still 0-0. Back on the highlight again. Here's Fructal to Augusto. To Lettner. Here's Brinkman. No mistakes here, please, boys. Here's Vargas. To Marshall. Nice. Lonely figure up there at a minute, though. But he keeps the ball nicely. Here's Evelasio. Tries to find... He does... Vargas, please! What a chance. What a chance that is for Vargas. In today for Tanovic. Vargas, you need to take those opportunities, pal. Got a corner out of the pin to take it. What a first half from us, though. Brilliant. Letting us there, but mile over the bar. Absolute mile over the bar. But I say it's been such a great first half for us, but needed to be more than 1 0, didn't really. And uh, could be 1 1 right now. Abdi to take the corner. And here's 1 1. It's our European luck again. It's coming back again. Our European luck could be 2 or 3 for us right now. Lady Cusen get, what, the second chance of the game? And they've scored to make it 1-1. One, one, so It continues. Our European luck. Mm. Oh, well. Oh, well. Still a good first half, of course. But how disappointing is that? We need to go into halftime winning the game. And they score from a corner just before halftime, which is completely undeserved. But a highlight straight from kickers as well, which I do say a lot of times is uh, I don't like. I really don't like to see a highlight from kickoff. Unless we score from it, then I love it. But we have the ball at the minute, but if we give it away, then that'll be a disaster. And we do give it away. Of course we do. I was expecting that to happen. Augusta wins it back, though. And here's Barry to Marshall. He's always giving it away for a second time. But we've still got it. It's El Shiwi. Oh. And we get it back, though. No danger here. Who's Augusto? Plenty of time. Keeps the ball nicely, passing to Vargas. Barry, got to be 2-1. It's got to be Barry. Get in. Get in there. What a start to the second half. I did say I don't like to see highlights straight from the second half, but when we score, I love them. That's what we've done. Look at the Austria Vienna fans there going mad. Well, we're back in the lead again, straight from half time, but we need Man City to do us a favour here. Augusto did really well there, under, not under any sort of pressure. Just picked his pass nicely. Vargas, who comes into the team today and plays a Tanovic. Sets up Barry nicely, and Barry just chips the keeper. Well, dangerous free kick chance here for Leverkusen. A lot of the times they go in, might be a little bit too far out, but we shall see. Juventus are beating Man City now as well, by the way. It's not good news for us. Fructor with a good save there. Good save from Fructor. It's a bit too far out, maybe, but I've seen them go in from there. I've seen them go in. They got a corner out of it. They obviously scored from a corner in the first half there. Here's Abdi to take it. But it's cleared this time around by Augusto. Makoko, people are going to pick it up though. And pass it to Palacios. They're still on the attack. He's offside. He is offside. Danger averted. Yeah, Juventus have beat Man City now. So, despite us winning the game, it still looks highly unlikely we're going to finish in second place no matter what happens here. But this is still good for the third place finish, of course. All right, time for a couple of changes here. Um, Brinkman is very tired. Problem is, though, we've got no one who can play ball midfielder. Um. Marshall hasn't been the best today, so I think we'll take him off and we'll think we'll bring on Stefan Beck for him. 
And, you know, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. The players are playing really well here. Less than 25 minutes to go here. Back on the highlight. Here's Oliveira, our former player, to Mon Montanana. Montanana? That's a cool name. Evalacio clears it, but... Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, Beck. I think you can the Beck. Hold on. Oh, Beck. Where's the pressing, mate? What's this half-press nonsense? I think he's offside. Well, football saves it anyway. Maybe he's not offside. It's gone for a corner, though. <sighs> 22 minutes to go. I said a draw here, and we're guaranteed finish in third place. So, they need to score two more goals for Fernando's finishing in third place and getting Europa League football. But we still want to qualify in the first knockaround, of course. But we need, as I said, it's not on our hands. It's in Juventus's hands, and Juventus are winning their game. So, nothing we can do about that in a minute. Anyway, here's Brinkman. A third goal, a two goal cushion, it'll be absolutely lovely. Here's Evalacio. Nice pass to Riley. Here's Brinkman. Back to Riley. He's pinned. Brinkman. To Vargas. Evalacio. He shoots. Oh, over the bar. All right, make a couple more changes here. You know what? Let's take off Vargas and bring on Tanovic. He's a great player to bring on. And, you know, we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. Leave a, leave a substitution spare here. Substitute spare, sorry. they got a corner here. They've already scored from a corner today, of course. Abdi to take it. Oh, my word. They hit the post this time. And Bete again. He scored the first one, of course. Back to Verts. Fructal catches it with ease. 18 minutes to go. As long as we don't concede two more goals, we are guaranteed third place. Juventus, what is their score? Is it still 1-0? Still it's 2-0 out of Juventus. So I think we can safely uh, forget about qualifying for the first knockout round. All about Europa League place now. Augusto. Oh, almost the third goal. 10 minutes to go. We conceded late on to Leverkusen in the past. A couple of goals as well. Another corner here, though. Pin to take it. Augusto again. Get in. Get in there. 3 1. All right. I'm going to say something now. Which, you know, I shouldn't say, but why do we have to lose a Hody Juventus? Why do we have to lose a Hody Juventus? Why? Why? Anyway, I had to get that out. I had to get that out because if we beat Juventus at home, we'll be guaranteed qualification for the first knockout round now. But anyway, we'll move on. At least we've done a great win here. we won our first away game in the Champions League, which is great. And uh, a great win. A great win. 3-1 away to Bayer Leverkusen, of course. It's not what we wanted because if we beat Juventus, then we would be qualifying for the first knockout round right now. Even if we drew to Juventus, we'd be qualifying. No, because they beat... I don't know. Hold on. You check the group stage here. Yeah, sorry. Even if we, even if we drew to Juventus, we would qualify in, um, in second place right now in the Champions League. So... Disappointing, but anyway, we'll move on. We will move on. At least we won the last game away to Bayern Leverkusen. That's all we can ask for. We really, really lost our own Juventus, so if we beat Juventus, who knows what will happen here. God knows. But anyway, we've qualified for the Europa League, which is great. Uh, that is something. That's a little bit of a consolation, of course, which is uh, which is fantastic. But anyway, we won't see who we'll get in the Europa League uh, until the next episode because we're sort of going to play before the uh, the draw takes place. What a win that is. Very happy with that. 3-1 away to uh, to Bayern Leverkusen there. Does it say when it takes place, though? It doesn't say when it takes place. We've got a winter break coming up, though. Got to play Sturmgrats at home in the final game before the winter break. And we've got, obviously, the winter break. And I'll bring you back for the Europa League first knockout round. It was a very easy team to play. Then I'll bring you back for the Europa League second knockout round. But it's great to say the fact that we've got there. Of course, it'd be nice if we would have drawn or beat Juventus and qualified with the first knockout round. But, unfortunately, we couldn't do that. But we did win our first ever game away from home in the Champions League proper Away to you, Leverkusen 3-1, which does bode well for us for the future. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video. And also hit that subscribe button as well, guys. It really helped me out. And you much appreciate it as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.